This cave might look normal on the outside, but on the inside, it's actually a glitched cave. Now the coordinates are on the bottom left of this image here, but you can see that it's pretty much directly west of the brand new Star Wars cave when you create a world on seed number seven. So I have to give a huge shout out to my guy time to game from my Discord server. He dropped this into our Discord to let everybody know that this is a really solid way to get unlimited blast core and storm core on this seat. Now, once you guys are inside of these caves, I recommend to carry a few things with you. One of those things is going to be snowberry shakes because they make it so that you're not hot and you don't take any damage. The second thing is going to be wood and torches because what you guys are going to see that I kind of lined up inside of my cave already is throwing these on the right side of me at all times. It is a little bit costly to do this now that they made it so that you have to use torches as well, but I ended up going through this entire cave what I'll do is I'll throw these campfires on the right side of every single wall that I see. The reason why I do this is because as I explore this cave to try to find this little glitch area, I now know that these are on the right side of me. So when it comes to leaving this area, all I have to do is make sure that these are on the left side and that will get me to my exit. That way I never get lost inside of these caves. Now it's very important that you find this area directly here. And this is in every single one of this exact cave on seed seven, which is going to have two of these lava falls. This is very important because this seems to be the best area of this cave in order to get storm core and blast core. Once you guys are inside of here, all that you want to do is clear out this area of these shells or these storm crabs or these blast shells, whatever you want to call them. Now, in order to get them to respawn, you're simply going to walk out of that area. You can explore a little bit more of that cave. Just make sure you don't get lost and then simply rotate back into that area. Every single time that you do this, it should go ahead and respawn them to give you even more blast core and storm core. So I had to pause the little montage to show you this absolute haul that I just got when doing this glitch. What I ended up doing was leaving the one side of the cave or the top part and putting a nice little campfire at that corner here. And what I'll do is I'll continue to walk out here, walk up, touch that campfire and then run back. I don't think that's what makes this work so much better, but this haul right here that I got was absolutely amazing. When I'm walking down, I could already see two of these things which look absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna take out the first one and now I'm gonna go and walk up to the second one. And then I noticed that there's two more of these things to the right. So now I already cleared this out. I walked up there, touched that campfire, came back, and I already have four of these things down low, respawned, ready for me to go. So in about a minute's time, I just got four more of these at this location. When I'm walking up here, you see that I looked up here and then I looked away. You guys are going to see that if I were to go back down again, I'm gonna get even more of these. So let's just jump right back into the montage. Now, I doubt that you guys were counting down that montage, but that was another five that I got. So when I did my last voiceover, I collected four of them. And then in that little montage clip, I got five of them. And I'm doing this in less than 20 seconds each time. It doesn't take very long to run up there, touch that campfire and turn back around and then smack some of these things. So in about under one minute's time, I was able to get nine total blast core and some storm core as well, because some of these are storm wild or storm sick, whatever you want to call them. But nonetheless, we've definitely had better glitches in this game, but this one definitely is up there. Getting a ton of blast core is extremely important to get in the game. And I think that this is probably the best cave for it that I've ever seen. Before people comment that this isn't a glitch because forcing respawns isn't anything new in the game. I do this for brutes all the time. This is definitely something that I consider a glitch. I believe that respawning or forcing a respawn on anything to give yourself an advantage in the game is something that I would categorize as a glitch. I know that not everybody has the same definition as me, but anything in my opinion that gives you a very big advantage that was not specifically designed to be like this in the game, to me, is a glitch and that's why I will forever call something like this a glitch in the game. Now the reason why this one is so much better than any other ones in the entire game is because it has five or six spawners in just this one little area. So within like 25 total meters you have five total spawners that go ahead and give you a ton of blast core and inside of expert mode some of these will be storm sick which is going to give you a bunch of storm core as well. So that's definitely why this is a glitch in the game or one of the best 
best areas in the entire game to go ahead and farm some of this stuff. But what I want to do is reward a bunch of you guys because you've stayed around for over five minutes in this video. Let me go ahead and hook every single one of you guys up and give you the cave entrance for the other side of this. Now, personally, I didn't know that there was another side to this cave, but going in through this top entrance here makes things much, much easier on you. So if you go ahead and you take a look at your map, you'll see that the coordinates are in the bottom left here. It's just a little bit further northeast or northwest of where the original spawn location is. So what do you guys want to do is just go ahead and grab yourself some granite, place down a map marker, and then just label it. That way you know that this is the entrance you want to go into at all times. And to go right back to that spot, you're simply going to go back into that entrance of the cave and then jump off of this balcony right here as long as you have a glider and then go into this entrance right to the left once again this makes it extremely easy to grab yourself all of the blast core in the game i know i've repeated myself a few times over and i know that sometimes that could definitely be annoying but i need you guys to understand that this glitch is an absolute lifesaver it has helped me out so much i was normally farming three or four blast core every 30 minutes in this game and now after finding this glitch i can get three or four blast core every 20 seconds so this was huge for me and anybody else that's playing inside of the expert mode this cave is by far the best in the entire game not only does it have all the blast core but it also has a ton of white chests so you can get copper bars and obsidian slabs and you can find those things naturally on the walls as well now to start this video off i had absolutely no blast core and i had a decent amount of storm core but not nearly as much as i do now after a few visits to that cave i have 81 blast core and i have enough storm core to make myself like 15 totems of return that way I can start to get stacked up on those so I never end up losing my world here in the expert mode. I also have a ton of ruby. I don't want to go ahead and count that, but I believe it's 150 total ruby that I have collected. I grabbed some bright core on my way out, even more iron bar or copper bar, as well as some obsidian slab. So at this point, I am honestly really stacked on the dry valley stuff just by visiting one single cave. I guess the next thing that we have to try to do is find some sort of glitch or trick that's going to help us inside of the Frostlands biome. But I hope that this trick helps every single one of you guys out inside of your expert or survival worlds as it does work in either one as long as you're on seed seven, which I understand is kind of annoying. But if you guys have any information on any caves that are extremely similar to this on any other world seeds, make sure that you comment them down below. That way you could help out a bunch of other players as well. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, this was Crafty, and I'm out. Peace.